In today's video, we are going to be creating an amazing poster design for Tandor Coconut Water. Grab your mouse as we dive in. First things first, we are going to create a new document. Let's grab our asset. So we are going to copy this guy, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Right click and convert that to a smart object, Ctrl T and we are going to transform this. We position it this way. We really have selected Ctrl J to make a copy. Then with the copy selected, we are going to drop it. Create a max. With the max selected, we are going to grab the gradient tool. And we are just going to be masking it this way. So we drag to erase. Ctrl T and we are going to position and adjust this properly. We right click and we are going to flip that horizontally. We really have selected Ctrl J to make another copy. We are going to delete the mask. Position this properly. Then we are going to create a new max with the max selected. We are going to grab the gradient tool. Then we are just going to drag this way to erase. We are going to create a new layer with a soft hand brush. Hardness is zero. We are going to reduce the opacity. So we are just going to hold all to sample the color from there. And we are just going to brush it this way. Reduce the opacity. We create a new layer. We are going to reduce the opacity as well. Now let's grab the coconut water. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. We convert that to a smart object. So we are going to select all these layers. Ctrl G to make a group. So that's our background or base. So with Ctrl key, I'm just going to select all these items together. Ctrl C to copy. So we'll copy all of them together. Ctrl V to paste. So we are just going to rotate this a bit. Put this off or not. So this layer is going to go behind. Right click and convert this to a smart object. We are going to position it right here. We are going to position this as well. We are going to create a curves adjustment layer. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Then we are just going to position this layer behind. So we have it right here. We are going to drop the layer right here. Now 
with this layer selected, we are going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. So we are just going to select this and with the eye dropper tool, we are going to move this sliders. So we are going to just move this sliders this way and we will try to match the color. So we are changing the orange color to something bluish. So you can play with this until you like the outcome. Now we zoom in with this layer selected. We are just going to create a new layer right here. Grab the polygonal lasso tool. We zoom in and we are just going to create a selection this way. Right click and we are going to fill it. So we are going to fill it with color. And we are just going to use the eyedropper to pick this color and we add and we are going to choose this as good. We have it tried the control D to the select. And we are going to drop the layer right here. With the layer selected, we are going to create another selection. So we are doing the same for this as well. We create a selection, we right click and we are going to fill it with the color. Ctrl D to the select. So we repeat the same process for the top. With a new layer, you create a selection and you are going to fill it. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. So we are going to paint some shadows. With a mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft tone brush. We are going to take care of opacity. Foreground is set to white because we are painting. Then we are going to be painting some shadows. Let's increase the opacity and do that better. Then we are going to create another exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft tone brush, foreground is set to white, and we are going to paint. So we are going to select the two exposure adjustment layers, Ctrl J to make a copy, then we send them to the top. Then we are just going to right click and delete all the marks. With this exposure selected, we are going to create a max. Right click and create a clipping max. With a max selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft tone brush, we are going to paint some shadows. So we select the second exposure, we create a max. We bring that back, Ctrl I to invert. We right click and create a clipping max. Then we are going to be painting some back. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. So basically we are still going to paint some shadows. With a mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft tone brush, we are going to be painting some shadows. We need to pass it for when it's set to black and we are going to paint some shadows. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With a mark selected, 
Control I to invert with a soft tan brush. Foreground is set to white, and we are just going to paint some shadows. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer with the mask selected Control I to invert with a soft tone brush we are going to paint more shadows now we are going to reduce the opacity With this layer selected, we are going to create another exposure adjustment here. With the mask selected, Control I to invert. With a soft tone brush, we are going to increase opacity. For when it's set to white, reduce the brush size with the left bracket key, and we are just going to paint some shadows. I'll be speeding this one because this will take some time, and this is actually the same process. So. Foreground is set to black and you are just going to erase. It's set to white and we are going to paint some shadows. So we are just going to select this layer up to this Ctrl G to make a group. So we are grouping all this layer into one Ctrl J to make a copy. We put this off. We right click. And we are just going to convert that to a smart object. We need layer selected. We are just going to rename the layer to coconut water. Ctrl J to make a copy. Ctrl T and we are going to transform so we are going to make it smaller and position it in the distance. We position it right here and make it smaller. Ctrl J to make another copy and we are going to position it right here. Ctrl T and we are just going to rotate it. Now that we have all that in place, we are going to make this one bigger, a bit. With this layer selected, we go for filter. So we are going to apply motion blur, blur and we are going to choose motion blur. So this is our angle and this is our distance and we hit OK. So we apply same motion blur to this layer right here. So filter blur motion blur and we hit OK. Now that we have everything in place, we are going to create a curves adjustment layer. That's too much with a mark selected. Control I to invert. With a soft tan brush. Foreground is set to white. Then we are just going to paint right here. Now let's grab the rays. So we are going to add the rays. Add the particles. Try to match the color and finish everything together. Now we are going to copy the particles. We are just going to add the particles and that will be it.
Once we have everything in place, we are just going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers. Right click and convert to a smart object. Then we go for camera roll. Once we are in camera roll, we are just going to play with all these settings. So we like the outcome and we are going to hit OK. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Till next time. Stay creative.